Hi, I'm Philip Duncan. We start with breaking news today out of the Coral Sea. We've got a tropical low forming. This is likely to be the first tropical cyclone of the season and it is relevant for us because it does look like it's going to head our way. But before you panic, you don't have to. It does look as though it's going to weaken a fair amount as it comes down towards us and it's at least a week away. So just giving you an early heads up that this is formed. So this is it here uh, in the Coral Sea. Over here is uh, Queensland. Uh, this is the uh, Australian coastline and we've got Papua New Guinea up here just to get your bearings. And so New Zealand itself is sort of down south here. That's some New Caledonia there. So we're a long way south. So this system here bubbled up over the last 24 hours. The Bureau of Meteorology in Australia have a high uh, have high confidence that it will become a tropical cyclone. So where's it going to go? Well, let's have a look at the rain maps and we'll give you a, a wee idea as we get into it. So here is the map for Thursday. Look at the high, firmly in charge, and that's the good news. So if you're going away camping or tramping, uh, the good news is you don't have to change your plans. Just keep up to date with the latest weather news because there might be some warnings issued at the end of next week. But at this stage, it's not looking bad at all. The lead up to Christmas is looking very positive. Big high in here. Uh, great weather for all the campgrounds and uh, and all the uh, park, national parks up in the upper North Island. And the sunny dry weather continues in the South Island with the beautiful weather that's uh, been around there. Uh, Alexandra got to 28 degrees yesterday, very nice, much warmer than the 15 degrees that is uh, affecting some parts of the North Island's southeast. So that's the setup there. Here is the low, by the way, uh, up here. As we go through to Christmas Eve, a couple days later, because it's not really changing much, the high itself uh, starts to... Uh, slowly change shape but it still remains centered over most of the country. The uh, little blobs of color you see over New Zealand those are just those uh, afternoon heat showers that have been popping up most days this week mainly inland and around the ranges. The low itself uh, does deepen a bit further here. This is probably a tropical cyclone by Christmas Eve but as you can see it's a long way from New Zealand this high very much pushing back against it and as far as Queensland goes they're just getting some showers so it's really out in the middle of the uh, of the ocean. Christmas Day as I said the other day, it's looking good. Mostly sunny, mostly dry. A few little showers again popping up where they've been popping up all week through those inland areas. And the wind flow starts to just see a very gentle easterly. That's not related to the low actually. It's more to do with the high uh, starting to just sort of shift away this way. So what does happen with our low? Well, let's have a look at next week. We'll go through to Tuesday. And uh, you can see it really doesn't drift very close to us. So this is why I'm saying just an early heads up that this system's coming down towards us. But as to what form it, uh, shape and form it takes by the time it gets to us, we still don't really know. The models that I've been looking at, the ones that I find the most reliable, tend to show it really weakening quite substantially as it moves into the upper North Island and sort of drifts out of this sort of area in here. And then this rain band out here also joins forces with it. So we might be seeing a fairly wet and humid uh, New Year's Eve. Just a very early heads up. We'll certainly keep you up to date with the models as it goes on through. At the moment, though, make the most of the beautiful sunny weather, and we've got it for at least another week. That's all from me. We'll catch you again tomorrow.